Hello, this is Matthias Sieber, and uh, I want to demonstrate you the easy MM parser. And uh, I actually should remain, uh, rename it to easy email parser or something else. Originally, started to uh, log into your easy money network account and get all the email addresses there. And um, but I added quite some functionality within this week since I started this project. And um, yeah, just give you a quick demo. So as of right now, you can uh, download this um, program for free. Go to github.com slash manonmadeasymn dash parser. Um, it's not the most user-friendly uh, thing yet uh, as far as installing goes. There are a few requirements. You can uh, download the zip if you're familiar with uh, source version control uh, sites like GitHub. Um, just clone it. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of uh, documentation on how to do that. Um, besides the program itself, um, I use the Apache requests module um, to communicate with the different servers, as well as uh, Beautiful Soap 4, um, which hasn't been fully integrated in uh, every model yet. Um, I will refactor the code and uh, make code improvements there, so it might speed up uh, the process a little bit. And uh, i give you a quick demo. So uh, once you downloaded the program, um, open the login-info.py uh, uh, and uh, enter your information here, like uh, for whatever it is, if you have an uh, Empower Network account, just enter your Empower Network username and password here, etc. And that's pretty much it. So, um, and then you would run the uh, Python uh, interpreter with the GOI dot PI. The other modules are more for um, programmers or who would like to modify the code. And um, so I, I just go ahead and run um, this um, the program from my uh, environment here. And um, show you a little bit about the program. So the idea behind this was that um, some people uh, in my downline had problems set, uh, problems uh, setting up um, their autoresponder in time and let's say they uh, captured a lot of leads in the easy money network system already but uh, didn't hook up their autoresponder at that time. So they basically have leads that they don't email to. And uh, it's quite um, stressful to go into the Easy Money Network and um, get every email by hand, especially if you have a lot of emails. So uh, therefore I um, programmed this program. Okay, so um, and uh, let's go ahead and I have a small settings menu here. Um, the delimiter, um, depending on what you want to do with the data, um, is um, how, how you want the data to be saved. Uh, sometimes, let's say, if you want to um, just paste this, uh, those emails that we will collect in a, um, Apple Mail or another program, and it uh, expects a new line for new emails, then you would go with that. If you have, if you would like to include it in uh, Aweber or GBO or wherever, where there is a comma separated um, value uh, file format dependent, you would go with the comma or white space, whatever it is. Uh, I go with new line here, save settings, and um, we're gonna start parsing some emails. So um, let's go ahead and just uh, get some Easy Money formula leads, uh, members, and Easy Money network leads, as well as some uh, Empower Network Basic uh, members, which are paid. And um, some of these email addresses will show up in uh, different programs, right? So we have, let's say, a Easy Money formal lead uh, that became a basic paid member. Those email addresses will uh, only show up once, so um, I filtered out the duplicates. And then I just click collect emails, it'll log in with your uh, user information into all these different sites and return 408 unique emails already, all right? Uh, so that's from uh, those programs. And I will add a black 
uh, bar or something here so you don't go ahead and uh, email those those uh, leads right so uh, another function I want to show you is uh, the ripple and this might take a few minutes all right um, yeah it's uh, <laughs> it took me pretty much all day yesterday uh, to be able to log into ripple they do a uh, stuff a little bit different also the data is uh, is um, represented differently so I had to actually go in there and uh, hack a little bit and uh, yeah this will take a few minutes because I'm gonna make sure that I get all the emails um, in my ripple and um, since I didn't uh, build my ripple wide I have like only maybe like three people <laughs> invited but uh, those three people you will see will have like I think like over 350 uh, uh, emails you know they, they uh, got to work and uh, so yeah this will uh, take a little bit I'm gonna switch here uh, to the easy money network here login and so basically what the program does is uh, in case of the easy money network it logs into the lead manager and get those different uh, funnels here and uh, get the leads here you see there are a lot of leads and you don't want to do that uh, manually so that was the idea behind it um, same thing with the members if you would have to go into every single uh, member here it would be quite uh, stressful all right, so one thing I wanted to show you is um, how to figure out if you have Python installed already. So let's say on a Mac OS X, you most likely have a Python installed already. So just type in Python on your uh, terminal. Right. And if you don't know where to, so see here uh, on my Mac OS X, I actually have the Python 2.7.2 installed, but I also have installed the Python 3. It should be 3.3.2 or 3.2.5. Uh, so you have that installed. Um, if you don't know where to find uh, the terminal or the console, it's on the applications and then I believe on the utilities or in the main folder and it says something like terminal or console. Um, so you're that. And on Windows, hold up a second. I haven't started this in a while. So anyway, on Linux, um, if you're a Linux user or a Unix user, and uh, you probably know that already, and Mac OS X also has a comment shell, so it's uh, actually pretty similar. Uh, on my Linux installation here, I have a Python 3.3.2, which is uh, good. So um, you are good here, so you don't need to install a new version here. I'm going to wait uh, till Linux boots up here. Oops. And um, yeah, I'm running the, the program here, by the way, right now. Um, it's a little tech tricky because I'm running it actually on my Linux box, but using my Mac OS X display here right now. So it's collecting everything. All right. On uh, Windows, I haven't run this in a while. So all right, where was it? Uh, I think it just command should work. Command CMD. All right, here we are. Let's see Python. No, Python is not recognized, so I would have to go and download it. And where can you download Python? It's easy. Python.org. All right. Um, python.org and then uh, downloads and you will find binaries and stuff like that installers so it's pretty easy okay python 3.4 alpha 1 has been released awesome awesome so um, what else okay next we need uh, with the python module we need the requests so go ahead and just click on the links here all right, we got the request package here. There's a download somewhere um, on this website. 
tells you how to install it and make sure um, I actually had a another program um, <laughs> from a company I wanted to apply to uh, but after I had this I am not too sure if I want to apply for for uh, internship to see a little bit um, what uh, people nowadays nowadays are doing in, uh, in businesses but uh, anyway it downgraded my uh, version to uh, 1.1 and then the whole thing doesn't work and I you get a weird error message but yeah so uh, anyway make sure you got 1.2.3 for uh, requests and also a beautiful sudo um, I don't use that for the easy money network funnels as of now um, the source there is a kind of messed up and I think it was beautiful so it's uh, actually a little bit more hassle than than um, the way I, I did it okay you have a download uh, here uh, download link here Let's see um, how you can download it and uh, it's pretty pretty easy okay you need a little bit digging in right now but um, if I mean if you have a, a huge ripple or something then, um, and you can't uh, email your reports as of now then uh, you might wanna um, I mean you have to figure it out yourself if you if you um, if you think your list is worth money then you go a little bit of trouble here and uh, download this program and if you find it useful uh, go ahead drop me a thank you note or whatever or donate <laughs> I don't care um, all right. So here are my uh, 359 unique emails collected, and um, in the easy email parser. And now I can go ahead and uh, I can go ahead and copy and paste all this, or I just save this in a file. File save as, and then I save it somewhere. All right. So all right, emails. Dot text. Close it here, and I have all my emails here. Cool, huh? And this goes down for a little bit. So uh, yeah, anyway, uh, for a lot of you guys, it's uh, probably confusing, but um, if you you can find all the information you need to uh, you need to know to run this program uh, on the internet. Go to python.org, go on uh, this site here, uh, download a few uh, additional packages, run uh, the Python command. And um, didn't show you that? I actually didn't show you that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, it, but, but it's saved here somewhere. Oh, I think I deleted it. One second. And, uh, so I'm logging in here where the actual program is um, stored. Okay. Yeah. So we, um, I browse to the to the um, to the path where my uh, 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 program is stored. See all those files here. So, and then I just enter Python. Uh, if you have uh, Python 2 as your default, then you want to execute Python 3. But I have Python 3 here on my, as my default, and then Python GUI.py, and you'll start the program. And that leads here. Okay. All right, that's it. Um, I will probably make this a lot easier. Um, might be even web based, but for um, the web based application, I need a, um, a new dedicated uh, server with uh, all these Python modules, and then I have to get programming a little bit more. So, um, yeah, if you would like to have that um, easier, let me know, and uh, I'll do it. All right.